In a unanimous ruling, the Supreme Court has weighed in on the 2024 election and says former President Donald Trump's name can be on Colorado's presidential primary ballot. And just in time, the decision comes one day before Super Tuesday, when voters in Colorado and more than a dozen other states head to the polls. What was being argued here would have taken the world's most successful democracy and introduced this incredibly destabilizing factor that would allow states to unilaterally remove a candidate from the ballot. The case came to the high court after the Colorado Supreme Court ruled in December that Trump was ineligible to run because of the role he played in the January 6th Capitol riot in 2021, even though he has never been charged. But the Supreme Court said the Colorado court had overstepped its authority and struck that ruling down. The majority is saying that, look, you need Congress to act here before you can enforce this provision. Essentially, you cannot take somebody out of a race because an opponent would like to have it that way. The Supreme Court decision applies to all states, saying in the ruling responsibility for Section 3 against federal office holders and candidates rests with Congress and not the states. The judgment of the Colorado Supreme Court therefore cannot stand. A rejection of similar efforts in a handful of other states. I think they're all dead as Dillinger. I mean, if, when you read this opinion, uh, there is no dissent. The Supreme Court still has to decide another Trump case and determine whether he has immunity from charges he tried to overturn the 2020 election. That trial was supposed to start today, but is now on hold. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.